Hi, my name is Dr. Joe Ferrantelli, and what I'm going to do here is briefly give you a, a quick glimpse at the Posture Ray X ray digitizing system from Posture Co. Now, the Posture Ray system is the scientific X ray digitizing system that chiropractic biophysics used in our research projects that have been published in numerous Index Medicus journals. The difference is, is that we hired a programming team from Posture Co. to put a, a graphical user interface on it and make it a very clinician friendly program. With that being said, this is a way to objectively measure your x-rays quickly and efficiently uh, so that way you have more time to um, treat your patients. Number two, you're going to objectively measure your patient's x-rays probably for the first time. Compare those values towards normal which we have already established in the Index Medicus uh, literature. Once we do that, we also have an x-ray view box system. So once I digitize this x-ray, it's available throughout my office and I can export those x-ray images to third-party software or I can quite simply use this in a view box area in my um, report of findings room so once I'm done here I can show the patient their x-rays versus normal and I don't have to go looking for any x-rays and they're already measured with the normal lines superimposed on them so the patients quickly and easily understand. More importantly for a patient education system, a report will go home with the patients and I have a report here that I've just done for one of my patients and in that report it's going to show the patients where their spine is compared to normal. So not only is it an objective system to protect you and bulletproof your practice but it's also a patient education system as well as a view box system and most of all it saves you time. One of the biggest uh, questions most commonly asked is, do I need an x-ray system that's digital? And the answer is no. While it's a lot faster and, and a lot easier, I don't even have a digital x-ray system. Um, so what I use is a normal everyday digital camera. I have a Sony CyberShot that I use. And I will take pictures of my x-rays, or I should say my staff will take the pictures of the x-rays. And once I download those images, just like you would with any digital image from a digital camera, you're able to import those just into the Posture Ray system. So you don't need to have a DICOM image or a digital image to use Posture Ray. As you can see here, on the new Posture Ray system, a lateral cervical comes up and it's about an 8 by 10 when I use a 19-inch monitor like this in a square aspect ratio. If I were to turn my monitor sideways, like a lot of radiologists have it, uh, or if you have a digital system, uh, very likely your system is set up that way where the monitor is upright, you can blow up this image to make it even larger and still see the whole image. Once the image comes in, you have a little view box here that tells your staff or you where to click on the x-ray. It's just a guide. It will show you the anterior superior of the body, the posterior, inferior, etc. It's going to tell you the landmarks to click. Now once the staff or you click that point, you can obviously go back and change and edit the points if you find that there's a problem in the measurement system. Um, quite frankly, I've had my staff help me with this, digitize, and then I'll go check the results before I generate the reports. It works out very well and takes the doctor's time out of it so I can be better treating patients. Okay, So let me show you an example with the lateral cervical image. What we're going to do is I'm going to use a pen that's hooked up to this overlay screen that's right here. Um, this is something that artists use. It's by Navsys um, Systems and it works good for a 17 inch or 19 inch square aspect ratio monitor. If you don't have something like this, you can use a tablet, like I have a tablet system here, it's an HP Touch Smart, and it has a pen that I can use to control and move the screen around, and it makes it a lot faster to digitize using your hand on the x-ray than it is to use a mouse. Although either way is fine, it's just a lot faster if you're going to use a, a pen to digitize your x-rays. So with that being said, let me show you how fast you can digitize an x-ray once it's imported. It tells you what to do here. What I'm going to do is let's go ahead and magnify this this screen up. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and start. So I'm going to get a little closer to the screen here so I can see the, the landmarks that I need to pick. And as you can see, it takes no time at all to digitize using a screen overlay. And when I'm done there, all the values, all the relative angles have been measured. We're talking all the relative rotational angles as well as atlas plane line, 
segmental translational angles, which I know all of you do by hand, and the global angles as well as the ADI space. I also have the spinal canal diameter as well at, at C1. And so if there's other problems with the upper cervical spine, we can measure that as well too. Basilar invagination, the clivus dens, inner space, things like that. And it is quickly and simple. I can superimpose the normal lines just like that. No other system can do that. We have the algorithms to actually superimpose the normal lines automatically on our system. No digital system on the market can do that but posture ray. Once I've digitized that, I can go ahead and put a note into the patient. I can tell them that how this uh, abnormal spinal alignment may relate to the problem that they presented with. I can also type in here in the impression section because this report will also generate for a third party to see. An insurance company, if you're doing a lot of medical legal work like a personal injury case, uh, an auto injury case, this is very, very popular with the attorneys so they can better identify that the person has ligamentous damage after a um, motor vehicle collision. Um, more importantly, generate the reports for the patient. So as soon as I digitize there, all I have to do is hit view reports, discuss what type of report that I want to digitize or what I want to show, and I just hit view report, and it's going to make the PDFs in real time. You can save those PDFs out into other uh, third-party uh, software. You can export these in images, um, but this is what I would show the patient. I'm going to go ahead and scroll through and as you can see from the x-ray that I just did, it shows, for their patient report, it shows normal versus them with the line superimposed, and no other x-ray system can do this. And it automatically calculated that the head position is almost 18 millimeters forward, and they've lost 101% of their normal neck curve. Now, how powerful is that to explain to the patient what their problem is? No other doctor, very likely in their area, has shown them something like this. And I have to attest, obviously I was the first one to use this in practice because I'm one of the main program managers along with Dr. Deed and Don Harrison um, in development with this. But uh, Dr. Deed, Harrison, and myself were the first ones to use this and see its impact on our practice. For a long time we've been giving out posture reports from the uh, posture screen system or the posture print system. But now we can actually give them their own x-rays as well to take home and they can digest that information. That's a patient report but I can send this report to third parties and it shows the patient's normal values or I should say their values compared to normal, the percent difference at every level as well as segmental translations, the global system of analysis and if I digitize the upper cervical spine in that example I would have those readings for you. So obviously it's a quite powerful system and as soon as I'm done digitizing this x-ray I can go ahead and show the view box. So imagine if I was in another room, okay? I've already printed out the reports. The patient has that report with them. Now on a larger screen, I can pull up their view box and I'm gonna just pull up somebody here that I just digitized and search. And let's go ahead and put, I have too many patients in my database. So I'm gonna go ahead and show the lateral cervical that I just digitized. So I can show normal versus them, and I can actually show with an arrow where the problems are. You can see the loss of, she actually has an S-shaped lordosis. And if you want to, you can actually even mark and draw on the x-ray and show where the problems are. You can do that with the mouse, I can erase that. And I can always scroll to the next x-ray. So how efficient is that? That once I digitize, I have a view box ready to go. At any time, I can show the patient their x-rays. I can then export their x-ray. So if I wanted to export their image and I wanted to put that on, the, on my desktop just to show you, I can export that image, export. I apologize about my phone ringing. So we're gonna export this and exit. And as you can see, the x-ray can export with the line superimposed on it and I can use this in any third-party software. For me, I use a, a system called Rapid EMR for my patient EMR records. Um, but there's many other systems that allow you digital x-ray importation. Um, and this would be a, a great system so I could have the x-rays on hand and I don't even have to open up Posture Ray.